What's going on guys? Geosnow right here. Today we're going to discuss about Brando's iOS 9.3.5 jailbreak. What happened? Because it's been uh, iOS 9.3.5 jailbreak announced and it's been announced for um, 9th of the March and it's currently 10. So let's see what happened. Apparently Brando did release something uh, right here on his GitHub, but uh, we're going to get into it in a couple of seconds. He released an IPA apparently that he says is iPad 2 only supported for the moment. All other devices are going to come soon. He released this 14 hours ago, so he delivered on his promise um, that uh, he will release on uh, March the 9th, but we're going to see whether it's something real or not. And um, you probably remember that in one of my previous um, videos in here um, I made on March 8, I raised a couple of concerns I've had about this uh, alleged developer. So let's see what he did released, right? Well, uh, he didn't release the source code yet and he said on his Twitter that uh, the jailbreak for other devices is delayed and he only uh, he's only able to release today the iPad 2 uh, support. Well, let's see if the iPad 2 jailbreak is actually something for 9.3.5. As I said, if he releases an IPA, do not try it. Some of you just uh, actually uh, got into my uh, my word and didn't try it out and wanted to see my video first. So I got the IPA and I decided to get into it. And uh, I have seen that he did include the files that were uh, actually missing from the project, being the jailbreak.m and device support 32 bitsh We're going to get into them in a couple of seconds. And I'm, at first, I wanted to see if these files that contain the alleged exploit are actually used somewhere in the application, because I'm deadly skeptical about this guy. Call me, uh, I don't know, call me crazy, but I simply do not think this is going to be any uh, important jailbreak. So I'm going to open this and we're going to analyze it together in the uh, hopper. So I'm going to try the demo for this and I'm going to drag his um, executable from here, which happens to be this one. All right, so uh, it's compatible with ARM v7 and, and R R64, that's not good because it's supposed to be a jailbreak for 32-bit, not for 64. But anyways, uh, going inside here, we can see already what is contained. Now, it's not a uh, obf obfuscated application, so it's pretty easy for uh, the naked eye to see what is contained in here. And boy, did it contain anything. So, um, we're going to go and find the go button. So I'm going to go here to procedures and try to find the go button he's been using. Mm -mm -mm. Yes, I found it out. It's the go button that is allegedly the exploiting or the jailbreak button that is in here, install exploit. That button from here is actually this one from this method. Let's see what it does. Now looking over the code in here, when you press that button, uh, apparently a dialog appears saying exploit installed, please reboot your device, okay, sets up the, uh, the actual pop-up, but there is nowhere where any, any exploitation method is called, actually there is no way uh, this calls anything, let's go and follow up any, um, arrows in here? No. There is actually nothing that calls the files he linked. So I am assuming there isn't even the method in here. Uh, yep, there isn't any method uh, and there is no there is no exploit method. So apparently the jailbreak is fake. Let me see what's going on then with the exploit with the jailbreak.m and device support. I'm going to open jailbreak.m and this should contain the exploit. It says here Mac, Mac Portal exploit used to jailbreak iOS 9.3.5 only applies to all 32 bits found by Brandon Whittle. Now this is a, a crazy lie. It wasn't found by Brandon Whittle. I'm going to delete this and write Luca Tedesco and Jan Beer because this is actually Yalu. Now, I'm going to show you, do not take my word for that, I'm going to show you. Going here to Cape Hound, which is actually look at the Desco, to Yalu 102, it is available as a source code. And we're going to open the um, 
the actual file linked on his project in here called jailbreak.m. Let me try to find this out. And there we go, jailbreak.m. If you open this file and we're going to compare them side by side, let me try to minimize this a little bit so that we can have a side by side comparison like this. Uh, okay, we, you can see that we have the same imports. And then going ahead to the actual code, you have Mac portal T TFP zero equals zero, Mac portal T TFP zero equals zero. And from here, everything is actually copy pasted from here. So it's actually the uh, Mac portal is actually Yalu's source code and everything is unchanged. But the worst is that this file that he linked in here in this IPA is not even called anywhere inside his IPA. So definitely a fake jailbreak, guys. Do not take my word for it, just compare yourself. Let's see what is this device all 32-bit support. Uh, okay, created by Brandon Withal. Uh, nope, actually not created by Brandon. Uh, uh, with all because this is actually another part of Yalu if I am okay with it. It's actually containing code signing, uh, entitlements, alright. Uh, so yes, uh, this should probably be, let me try to find it in here if it exists, mm, device support that age, I think this should be the, uh, the sibling file and pretty much it is. You can see here the same address let me try to go, get back in here, and the same address in here, and the same ver variables, and the same labels, and the same comments, and so on. So, yeah. So, as you can see guys, Brando turned out to be fake, exactly as I uh, was expecting, and uh, when I made this video two days ago about my... Um, uh, my reasons to be skeptical. Some of you told me you know, why why I'm not giving actually a chance to this guy Brando to release this uh, jailbreak first. But actually, I wasn't skeptical for no reason. You can see that I was skeptical for definitely a good reason. And his jailbreak in here is definitely fake. Just a copy of uh, Yalu that isn't even working. So, yeah, it's actually fake. I'm really sorry, but we still have a chance. Uh, for iOS 9.3.5 jailbreak because at the Black Hat this month, at the end of this month, the fried apple team, some real developers with some real jailbreak development in the background, they are, they are going to release the jailbreak for iOS 9.3.5. So there is just a little bit more to, to wait. But what it, what it means on the Brando, unfortunately, no. This is definitely fake. Now, uh, before we end, I wanted to, to talk with you about something very interesting, and this is Phone Lab. Now, this is not a paid advertisement. It's actually something that I, w I that I also got involved in, and they have very great um, lessons, courses that you can uh, use if you're a GSM shop and so on. And I am also an instructor in here. They invited me to be an instructor on the iOS side, iPhone, iOS side, and iCloud side. So um, I wanted to present this to you if you don't know about it. It's actually very great. It's like a school. It's like an actual uh, online school uh, in which you can learn about Android, about bypasses for Google um, activation, uh, about iCloud, about, uh, I don't know, various uh, firmware managers and various firmware flashing and repairing. This is very suitable for those of you who want to start a, a GSM shop or who already have one. They have a lot of courses, so definitely check them in the description down below. They definitely deserve to be checked out and they're definitely real and legit. As I said, I'm also working with them now to provide them some great content uh, that is especially for them on the iOS side, so definitely you can check them out. So, uh, yeah, till the next time, I'm GeoSnow. I really hope you understood my concerns in this video, and I really hope you understood about this guy, what happens, and yeah, very bad of him. I, I really wish, I really wished this guy would be uh, real, but he turned it out it isn't. So... Yeah, pretty sorry. Till the next time, I'm Geosnow. Stay safe and peace out.